Well, thanks so much for joining me, especially on your vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Never stops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to congratulate you on your third album. I know it's been out for a little while, but it seems to be doing well. And I have to yeah. say, from start to finish, it's a solid album. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it's been out. It came out um, the end of October, so it's been out a couple of months, but yeah, it's it's uh, doing well. We're getting good, positive feedback from it. We're really happy you like it. Yeah. Thanks for the review. Oh, my pleasure. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I came across it, and I was like, oh, yeah, this album is amazing. I definitely want to review it, and so the latest single, I Got Trouble, that's kind of like the sultry, bluesy rock song. Mm -hmm. In the music video, it looks like you guys had a lot of fun filming it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, and we had, like, a really big crew for that one, too. The biggest crew that we've had for for any of the other ones, because we didn't really have crew, to be honest, for the other ones. <laughs> it was just <laughs> us and a couple of camera people. Um, this one, we had, you know, we had makeup. We had extras. Um, we had, a, like, a set designer. You know, a whole a whole thing, a video guy, um, a director of photography, crazy oh, pants. Large production. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we walked in and we were like, this is for a bourbon house video. Kind of blew our minds too, but <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. And I know you mentioned it's kind of like time traveling in that video, because is it set mm -hmm. in the nineteen thirties? Yeah, thirties, forties, kind of that era. Was that uh, your concept or um, did someone kind of suggest it yeah. to you? It was um, our director's concept, actually. Um, we sent her the song. Uh, her name's Jocelyn, by the way, Jocelyn Barrowman. She, her production company is Cyclops Girl. Cyclops Girl. It's hard <laughs> to say right now. Um, she, we sent her the song. She had an idea for it immediately, but, you know, before she even told us, she sent it to um, one of her assistants and they both came to the same kind of idea you know so she's like obviously this is what we have to do I'm like yeah I guess so <laughs> no, it seems fun I I feel like if I were to ever make a music video I'm not a musician by any means but <laughs> it would be kind of fun to step in you know a period piece and kind of yes, play yes. a character absolutely yeah That's awesome. I know all of our extras really liked yeah. dressing up and <laughs> you know, smoking fake cigarettes and yeah. <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. ritzy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Another thing I love about the album is it's um, very riff driven. I'm a sucker for a, an awesome guitar riff. So I was curious, um, what are some of your all time favorite guitar riffs? Um, well, Aerosmith has a bunch of good ones. Uh, Led Zeppelin has a bunch. Um, Jimi Hendrix and Deep Purple. It's hard to say. There's, um, you know, in the classic rock era, that was kind of the centerpiece of the song. So we try to come up with a great riff and then build the rest of the song around it a lot mm -hmm. of times. Yeah, the riff's yeah. important in our songs, for sure. I love that. Yeah, I'm like a huge classic rock fan, so that tends nice. to be my go-to. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, good. there's a lot of, you know, awesome new bands emerging through the new wave of classic rock movement, but I always find myself going back to classic I know. rock. <laughs> yeah. So what are your plans for uh, 2022? Um, I know COVID kind of came back again, <laughs> which is or, postponing a lot of shows, but yeah, yeah. Um, so right now, as it stands, we are going out on tour. Um, just a, kind of a smaller one, uh, two week, about two and a half weeks ish, mm -hmm. um, in March at the end of March, uh, we'll, we'll be going down South. So we'll be hitting Texas, um, you know, and everything between Wisconsin and Texas basically, and then back up in a loop. Um, there's that we are recording more, uh, what else do we have going on? Yeah. So we'll be finishing the fourth album next month and uh we might release it this year sometime how exciting yeah and the tour and a lot of great shows coming up mm -hmm. so we'll be busy we'll at least be releasing some singles so yeah really cool now keep that momentum going <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> 
Awesome. And I always like to ask people, what is your favorite concert memory? Concert memory. Like a, like a, a concert. Um, like a concert oh. you attended as a fan. Oh, okay. My favorite memory. Let's see. Um, so I saw one of my favorite concerts that I went to actually was a, um, it was a double a headliner bill, uh, and it was Ozzy Osbourne and Rob Zombie. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> this, I know. Um, but the show that they put on, um, both of them were, was really good. The show was really good and they're very, um, they're good live, honestly. And Ozzy's cute. <laughs> he's such a cute old man did he do yeah. any crazy stage antics he's just like he's very like i don't know I, this sounds so bad i'm gonna call him like a grandpa but he's just like he claps a lot and he's very <laughs> like smiley um you know and then zach wilde came out and he did uh an acoustic he did he did some acoustic by himself and saying oh, wow. and that's a really cool really cool part too he's and then Rob guitarist yeah Absolutely. I don't know, whenever I think of Ozzy Osbourne, I always think of that scene in The Dirt where he uh, snorted the uh, ants off the, <laughs> yes, the pool deck. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And... He's had a life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what yours? Uh, my best experience was probably when we saw Zach Wilde. Um, we were right up close, and after the show, he hung out with us and had beers with us and signed a bunch of stuff so that was a fun night that didn't happen with me that's <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, awesome mm -hmm. that seems like a fun experience yeah yeah and um so with your new music is it going to be a, more of the what we heard on into the reds more guitar riffs and cool melodies mm -hmm. yeah definitely gonna stay with the riff driven um, songs but we have a lot of different kind of um, you know genres and subgenres of of rock you know that we want mm -hmm. to that we want to hit so you know right now we already did something that's like a little more folksy a little more like Janis Joplin-y kind of folks um, song um, so there's always like kind of hidden gems but we do have our sound you know like the blues rock riff driven sound yeah i think there'll be a couple of surprises we try to have a couple things on each album that are that we've never done before mm -hmm. and then a bunch of things that you would expect from us so yeah oh that's awesome no, i like to hear an album that has an eclectic <laughs> mix of sound yes yeah mm -hmm. i always wonder you know i know inspiration can hit you anytime has there ever been like a really weird place where a song idea came to you a lot of times for me song ideas come like uh, in my sleep or like when I'm very like very relaxed falling asleep I guess um a lot of them come at that time which is kind of weird but I think it makes a lot of sense because you're not focused on a bunch of other things that you're doing right you're just laying there and so um yeah. Yeah, they usually happen when you can't write them down or when like there's no guitar around. You're not near an <laughs> instrument when you're driving a car or taking a yeah. shower. That's usually when it happens. Mm -hmm. And that's what I usually just write down ideas in my phone. And when I get to it, I get to it. Or maybe I'll record something if I if I can. Mm -hmm. Then you phone. hope you don't forget the idea. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of clips on my phone of me just like singing a cappella terribly, usually because I'm like trying to be quiet or, you know, whatever. But I'm like, this is kind of the melody I'm going for. And yeah, it's kind of embarrassing to listen back to them, but <laughs> they're useful. Well, I really appreciate our time chatting. Is there anything else that people should be on the lookout for? Um, definitely for tour dates. Um, and just, you know, follow our socials. Like we're, we're very active on there and we try to make sure everybody knows what's going on, which is kind of hard, you know, with social media. There's so many times when people are like, when are you coming to the city? And we're like, mm, we were just there. Where <laughs> were you? And they didn't, you know, they didn't see 
the multiple posts that we posted. So, you know, um, an email list, we have an email list is always a good thing because that'll be posted there. Bands in town, we will have all of our, um, all of our shows posted on there and that's probably a good place to go and just check and just our website, which is bourbonhouserocks.com um, is, is a good place to check for everything and uh, yeah, stay up to date. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's good yeah I've been trying to use bands in town more more often yeah sometimes I'm I see a post and I'm like what I didn't realize this band was coming and exactly uh, yeah. and now don't you don't relate have, to it <laughs> exactly you don't have a babysitter you don't have you know you can't do it right you missed a ticket mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely well guys I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Miami thank you I'm so jealous <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for chatting. Thank you for Thank having you. us. It was nice to meet you.